Hello, my name is Robert Emi. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful site using Webelo from scratch. Now click on create new site over here. And then you can now fill the form by entering your site name. So I'm going to say my site one and the site title. I'm just going to copy this and just place this. Um, you can enter something reasonable and then click on continue when you're done so click over here now you have the option to edit your site using either the novi builder or the vv web builder we have two page builders integrated and um the recommended builder is actually suggested for you you can actually export your site that you've created you can also embed google analytics facebook pieces or any code to your site such as um, chat plugins now you can preview and copy your site to url so I'm going to edit this the site. Click on the Novi Builder. Alright, so it comes us with um, some presets which we have to now select the sections to define how we want to build the site. So I'm gonna start by looking for a header. So I'm going to choose from um, different header options given here. So uh, I'm going to go with this one. So click on it. And then it loads, loads it for me. Now I have the option to change background when you mouse over any of the element. Like, um, let me go off it. So the moment I mouse over it, the components comes off. So you see the option to replace image, to change background, to replace the video, to replace the poster image, and you also have more tools option here. You can replace slide image, duplicate this very layer, remove the layer, add new slide, remove the active slide, and then you also have the slider settings option right okay so i'm not going to go into details right now i'm just going to look at um creating my site in full first of all so i'm going to look for the next i'm going to add one more layer so i'm going to mouse over here you now see this plus icon comes up so click on it and it gives you other options to add um, other layers you have the option to choose as per what you want animated text background videos banner call to action campaign monitor form you have a um, carousel option you have the contact form option you have countdown timers you have count down timer in different format in a right here format you have counter and then you have the facebook option to add facebook feeds you have flicker feed option you have footers you have gallery option okay see you have the google map option to add um, Google map to your site you have the header option you have the iframe option you have Instagram feed MailChimp then you have the navigation you have the parallax option then you have post formats as you can see um, you can choose from different formats here you have post carousels, carousels of post. Then you have pricing table. 
you can see and then you have the progress bar option you have the services option you have single post option you have slider so slides then you have subscription forms you can see different formats then you have team members testimonials twitter feeds so i'm going to look for um click on all the, i'm going to search you can use this option here to search for a particular um option that you you want a particular component okay so i'm going to select this um preset click on it and it loads and um, it is added so you can see you click on it you can see it so you can edit anything you want to edit the components to you can edit it okay did the youtube is a youtube video you can um, click on it you can see when you when you mouse over the video you have the option to change the video source so you mouse over it then click on this so you can now change the video source so you go to youtube copy the video that you want to add and then replace it so let me just say i go to youtube so i just copy the url to the video on youtube and i come over here click delete and then paste the new video click on this icon and uh, it's going to update the the video okay so yeah you can also change let's say you want to change the background of this um layer you can see when you mouse over a layer for example once you mouse over it it comes up with options you have change background replace image replace layer so you can replace this entire layer that you just added if you don't like it so you can just come over here replace layer and then choose another layer let me just search for a layer let's call this on youtube let me search for youtube okay click so it changes the layer now you can see and then once again you can change the video right and um options yeah click good and then lose the new video now you can change the background click on this um click on this so you have color options move the mouse to the color as you're moving it you can see it indicating here then you have these two options that that indicates the grids so if you bring it down you're going to darker darker and um so you get a darker shade of the um, selected color and then click good so it change your site color the site background of this layer to this very um this, the color you selected you can of course go back change the different color and uh, let me just go up and get something light and click on it so it's changed to another color you can see and you can also use gradient so let me select color because i'm seeing a bit of a white and um take it this way right and then select it so you can see get a gradient so this is just um bit of what you can achieve of course you can change text you can see it's editable you know, change the text you can do quite a lot of things um boarding okay um, change the text color a different shade different shade okay good smaller now just click on it so say 12 and um board 10 just made setting can change click on it to change i'm going to add another layer click on this plus to add a new layer again 
this time i'm going to add a banner so I click on this add a banner um, so I have this so you can see so this banner you can change the banner you can replace the image you can actually link it so when it when it is clicked it goes to url of your choice so i can link it to that's gone okay tickets good All right so you can actually change this image um because i don't want to do that but you can just come over click to change the image okay so and, uh, but i don't want to do that okay so the next thing i'm going to add another layer again so you click on the presets as you can see this time i'm going to search for a slider so i have different slides um it's not what i want i'm just going to look for something a bit more i think um a carousel we do so i'm going to look for this um carousel click on it the loads okay it's loaded um i don't like this carousel even though it's beautiful well okay i can do with it i can do with it so you can now for the carousel you can change it if you don't like it for me i, I want to change this to so i search for carousels so i think i'd like to go with this instead and um so change that so i think i like this so I go with this carousel okay now you can actually see so it works now you can change the individual images so click on this replace the image you can choose um an image upload from your pc and upload an image select the image click on the insert button and then you um, crop the image and click on insert so as you can see replaces you can change the text edit them you know you can actually set up a carousel setting and i'm going to cover this in another video so once you're done you click on save to save everything that you have you have edited if you don't save it it's not going to uh, uh um everything you've done is going to you're going to lose them all right so you have to save them all right so in the next video i'm going to show you how to edit a slide how to how to customize a slide all right